every film I try to up myself sure. every time I go to set I put the pressure on myself to be a better performer mm. I'm someone who came from a really small town and I got the opportunity but very few people do because you've got to know someone to know someone right. to know someone I mean I, it's very easy to have sure. a safe career sure. but I want to be able to have a path which is mine mm -hmm. yeah I screwed up sometimes but it's mine no right. one else did it before me it's, oh. it's, it's completely you know empty territory till I get there I've given up my life to achieve what I achieve. Mm. I don't meet my family, I don't meet my friends, I don't sleep, I'm unwell, unhealthy. <laughs> I remember meeting you on a flight a year and a half ago when you were flying into India for a day. 12 hours. For 12 hours to shoot Baji Rao. Yeah, so I've, I've sacrificed a lot to be here. So it's to me not uh, that, oh, it's <laughs> done. I've given up a lot mm. to be able to achieve this because to me, I was not privileged. I didn't come into the business with friends or a you know, famous dad or mm. like, I'm, and I'm not, I mean, make, uh, making light of the people who do. Right. But like for me, opportunities and achievements were everything that I had to claw myself through. Mm. I'm, and I'm also not the kind of person who asks for help mm. or favors. Mm. It's not my nature. So I, it was very important for me to be to, because I had to get the job on merit, mm. so I had to have enough merit to be able to get the job. Right. So I, I had my own But I also was willing to, you know, I'm, I'm a young girl. I was willing to just say, I want to make a legacy over having a fun life in my youth. Right. You know, which is a very difficult choice sure. when you're a young person. Um, uh, and my mom always says that to me, that you know, you've worked through your whole life. I wish that when you do start a family or have a life, you you know, it's happy and you find someone who makes you laugh because you only work. I really get bored doing the same thing. Okay. Fear drives me, mm. fear of failure. Um, so I think it's a deliberate choice for me that I pick a part where I say, you know, I'm doing something similar, I don't want to do this right now. So I pick a variation of things. I'm really fortunate. I have... Um, amazing parts that come to me. Mm. It's really nice to know that parts like this are written for you or you're thought of just based on merit. It's, True. It's, it's really great. But yes, I most of the years I, I have opportunities coming my way mm. where I have the choice to say, oh my god, I have three, which one do I do? Correct. Um, so I, I, I've not struggled with that too much yet. I, as an artist, I guess, the, the, you can just do your best work. Right. After that, every film has its own sure. destiny and I would be hopeful that um, the kind of love and support that I've always got from people who want to watch me, you know, would like and appreciate my work. But yeah. I don't put myself through that. Sure. Of like, wondering what it'll be like because then I'd be judging me mm. and this is the best work I've done. I, every film I try to up myself, sure. every time I go to set. I put the pressure on myself to be a better performer. Mm. But outside of that, I'm also aware now, almost 20 years in the business, that I'm also aware of the fact that it's not in your hands. Right. It's like, art is subjective and everyone's going to decide if this is their piece of art. It's not like, you know, I had a flag like, I to America and i That was never the plan, I was just doing music. And uh, I used to fly in and out of America all the time and uh, I'm a fan of music so I was doing that, you know, it was like my hobby. And while I was doing that I ended up meeting a few people who told me that I should work here mm. because I'm an easy fit right. in, 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 as an international star, you know. So, um, which is when uh, the VP of casting flew down when I was shooting Gunde and asked me to do a talent deal with ABC where I pick whatever I want to do and so it was a sweet deal paid holiday so I did it and I just didn't know it would blow up into this I mean we are in um, 217 countries around the world within our first season right and that's not happened to any TV show mm. before this you know so it's it's amazing now scandal which is an ABC show has an african-american woman at its center 
there's How to Get Away with Murder, which now has also uh, an African American actress who is central to that show. You know, it's taken so long for an African American actress to be at the center of an American TV series. How hopeful are you that there will be strong, interesting roles? for um, an Indian actor. If you see the kind of shows that ABC is doing, uh, whether it was Sofia Vergara, Eva Longoria or Kerry Washington, you know, they believe in diversity. Right. And to me, it's time for India. Mm. It's not just about being Indian, but it's about talent from India, which can move into global entertainment. Right, right. So you're not seeking out necessarily just characters that are Indian in American shows. In fact, shows. I'm deliberately trying to stay away from that. Okay. I want to play ethnically ambiguous parts. And if I'm Indian as my uh, culture, it's fine. Right. But that I don't want that to be the, or the stereotype of what India yeah. is to be the crux of the part that I play. Sure. So it's me and my messed up Indian family right um, that's something I don't want to do mm. it would be interesting if you see me playing I don't know an Egyptian um, princess I'm someone who came from a really small town and I got the opportunity but very few people do because you've got to know someone to know someone right. to know someone so I want to have a production oh, you miss word. yeah and I know that helped right um, but there's so much talent that we have and I, I meet people all the time, designers, Right. I meet kids all the time, my family, mm. there's so many people but there's like lack of opportunity sure. because you've got to know somebody, somebody needs to recommend you. Mm. So I wanted to create that, Okay. it ended up becoming <laughs> me doing uh, a film which stars me but maybe that which will is Madhur Bandakar's film. Yes, which is Madhur's film which maybe will give me a setup for a production. Sure. I mean I'll be a very small producer making small films but I maybe doing that film will give me like a you know foothold okay. to start I'm a storyteller and I I'm not someone who restricts myself to one thing mm. ever I've never been that person maybe I have ADD but I want to be able to do everything why can't we do everything sure you know as and especially women we are we are great at multitasking so I, I want to produce, I want to have a business, I'm gonna I'm producing here, I'm gonna produce in India, Hindi films, regional films, mm. I wanna be able to act in them, maybe not. You know, there's so many things that I can do which I want to be able to explore. Well, I was actually really excited about playing the bad girl because you know in Quantico, which is my introduction to America, I guess, I'm playing such a national hero who saves the world all the time and Victoria just wants to buy it. And you, know, and you know how much I enjoy playing the villain. I mean, even in Etras, I did Satun So I had, a, I had a lot of practice, but I don't think a lot of girls can say they took on the rock, you know? So th that was the fun part about it, that, that it, just, it was just new. I always have a little bit of a lateral thought when I think about the kind of things that I want to do. I need it to be special, I need it to be an immersive experience. So, Reshma, my manager, who never ever actually says, you know, you should talk right. about this film. She's not someone, she lets me make my choices. She was just like, I just read it. I just want you to read it. Mm. So, it came to me while I was in New York. I remember sitting in my apartment one evening and I was like, alright, let me just read this movie. And I couldn't stop. And I just couldn't stop. And it just, it was over and I sat down and I remember I was alone and I was looking at the city lights and I just remembered what it's like for caretakers mm. when my father was unwell for about eight years what my mom went through what we felt the emotions that we felt it was so visceral mm. in that script when I read it like I it just it took me back instantly mm. and it took me a second to remember that no one actually remembers the caretakers we didn't we don't what happens to a marriage what happens to a relationship what happens to you as a human being, when you see the deterioration of someone that you love so much right. to something you can't help and the helplessness of it but you're, you're trying to do everything and my character Aditi in real life is a ferociously protective mother mm -hmm. and I just, I, I, if I thought that if I ever was in a situation like that, that's the kind of mom I would want to be. I'm not someone who plans my career. I'm very instinctive. I, um, if I like something, I do it. Hence, the reason I fail a lot also. Because, you know, I, I take risks, I take right. chances. I don't like, I mean, I, it's very easy to have sure. a safe career. Sure. But I want to be able to have a path which is 
mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I screwed up sometimes, but it's mine. No right. one else did it before me. It's cool. it's it's completely you know empty territory till I get there. It's my footprints. Right. So I take a lot of pride in that. Mm. I want to do things that people are like, oh, she's doing that. No. I look for things like that, whether it's acting, producing, I don't know what it'll be. Me, sure. I, I don't know. I'm producing here also now. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what it will be, but I hope in the five-year plan I do have kids planned. I hope that happens. I definitely want to have kids.